everyone and welcome back to Hide and Seek with Kognini. I am your host as always, Shannon. It's nice to see you guys and for those of you that are just now joining, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today we are outside of Seoul actually, we're in a place called Paju. Paju is located near the DMZ, um, which is sort of like the border between the North and South Korea. And it's a beautiful place to come visit. As you can see, it's definitely separated from that hustle and bustle city life. We've got a lot of beautiful lakes and mountains and really beautiful things to see. But also, we have a job to do. We have to find Kognuni. So, without further ado, you guys, we are going to check our first clue. Dun, dun, dun. Come to the middle of the suspension bridge. Uh oh. If you guys look behind me, there's a giant bridge right up here. Ah, that looks super, super scary. Um, okay, I guess we're going on an adventure today. Thanks a lot, Koglini, for that. So, um, like I said, you guys, we are in Paju, which is north of Seoul. So, typically it is a little bit chillier here than it would be in Seoul. But spring is on the way, which means we can shed those big, heavy jackets and we can just wear a light hoodie. Today I am sporting a Rick and Morty one, sponsored by my friend. Uh, thank you, Vaughn, if you're watching, this is for you. Um, but anyways, you guys, it's a beautiful day out here today. Uh, it's starting to get warmer, spring is definitely coming. And uh, something that's a really good talking point about Seoul specifically, and outside of Seoul as well, the nature and especially the cherry blossoms, also known as sakura or uh, potkot, I believe in Korean. So you guys can always come check that out. They have lots of festivals and stuff like that. Uh, Paju is also another area that is known for being quite artistic and it's pretty common at least these days I feel like to film for dramas and stuff because it is kind of set outside of Seoul. So there's a lot of cool things to see. This bridge looks terrifying. Oh my goodness. Hopefully we can find where he's going and it's, it's a really long bridge. I'm just now thinking about how long it's going to take me to walk across it. Um, if you guys have any big fears, let me know. Um, I'm actually not afraid of heights, but it's a suspension bridge, so if it goes like this, I might feel like a little, a little weird about it. I don't know. We'll see. But do you guys have any big fears? I'd love for you guys to let me know how you feel about that. Also, if you guys are interested in uh, learning more about like the DMZ or the sort of North Korea, South Korea border, feel free to let me know. Um, I actually haven't been there. As long as I've been in Seoul, I've never been to the DMZ or anything like that. Um, but I do hear it's quite popular among tourists and it's a interesting tourist destination. Let's see, what are you guys up to today? Where are we going? We are in Paju. Sorry, I got distracted reading. Clowns, oh my gosh. My biggest fear is clowns. For those of you that didn't know, <laughs> I'm not afraid of like, ghosts, I'm not afraid of heights, I'm actually afraid of clowns, believe it or not. So kind of a silly fear, I guess, but different than everybody else. Uh, <laughs> that sounds really interesting. Yeah, it is really interesting, you guys. So um, Paju is in an area outside of, Kol, or outside of Seoul called Gyeonggi-do, and there's a lot of really interesting little towns or villages or cities that you guys can get to pretty easily from Seoul. Um, it's a little bit more, more than like an hour, I would say, but you can pretty easily take it from the subway or a bus or a taxi. It might take you like 30 or 40 minutes uh, by taxi, but it's really cool. Hold on. I underestimated the amount of stairs. Okay, let's go. I guess this is a sign from Kognuni that spring is coming and I need to work out more. Many stairs today, yes, cardio session. You know, the longer that we do this show, the more I feel like we should just call it an exercise channel. <laughs> So luckily we have made it to the top here, as you guys can see behind me, this is the bridge. And uh, in traditional Korean fashion, we have the photo op spot. Are you already tired? Yes, I'm already tired. Let's go, Shannon. Hi Ting, thank you, you guys. Now I might need a little bit of support before we go across this bridge. It's pretty long and pretty scary, so wish me luck. And hopefully we can find our clue on the bridge out here. Oh, and it's definitely a little bit cold today. I apologize for the sniffles, you guys, but without further ado, I guess we should get going. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, right now, still stable. There's so many warning signs. I feel like maybe this isn't a good idea, but Kogden is a bird, so he kind of has like an easy out. If he has any trouble, he can just fly away. Just run quickly. 
Oh, no, 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 no. We won't be doing that. We will take our time. I like being alive, so <laughs> we're not gonna rush for sure. Um, like I was saying, you guys, this is an area called Paju, and this particular lake is called Madong, Madong Lake. So if you guys have studied in the Korean or if you watch K-dramas and stuff like that, a popular phrase that you might hear is the word Maza, which is like, that's right, or okay. So that's kind of how I remember it, Madong Lake. Um, it's actually really, really beautiful, and there's not a whole lot of lakes that I've been to since being in Seoul or being in Korea. So if you guys want like a little escape, a little vacation spot, this is for you. Maybe not the bridge though. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you can kind of feel it bouncing a little bit and it doesn't help that you can actually see through the bottom. Oh, there's a helicopter today. <laughs> Kognuni can fly so it's easy, be careful. Nice bridge design. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm not necessarily well versed in bridge design, but I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> Like I said, heights don't scare me, but the fact that it's bouncing is kind of a little bit scary. Uh, but we're gonna trust, we're gonna trust the engineers who created it. It seems pretty stable, but um, it is definitely really fun if you guys are into this sort of thing. I've actually been to one in North Carolina, which is my home state in the US. Uh, it's called the Mile High Bridge. So it's a similar kind of structure, but it's actually a mile above the ground. So I don't think we'll have too many issues today, but I don't think it ever gets any easier when you're on a swinging bridge. So, oh, Kogluni. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see it tilting a little bit? <laughs> it's like tilting with the wind. So I guess my recommendation would be not to come on a super windy day because that definitely won't help. And don't come with friends that are gonna jump up and down and make the bridge bounce because that doesn't help anybody. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous live that we've done so far. I love it. But, um, like I said, you guys, it's springtime, things are starting to warm up. Being near the water is something that I've always been used to. So um, in North Carolina, for example, they have a lot of lakes and stuff like that. So here, maybe you can get into some water sports. I've heard that actually at this lake in the summertime, they do have like paddle boats and little romantic things that you guys can do on the water. So um, Seoul isn't just a city. You guys can come just outside and also get those uh, environmental exploration kind of things as well. So. <laughs> It is a bridge, you guys. There's gonna be lots of people as we walk by. And one thing that we have to keep a lookout for is this clue, but it's a bridge. I'm not exactly sure where we could hide it. Um, do you guys have any experience like walking on like suspension bridges like this or anything interesting? I think probably my most recent experience would be when I went to New York. I actually visited the Brooklyn Bridge, which was lovely. Um, definitely a little bit more secure than this one though. But now we need to find this clue. I don't know where to go. Where could it be? If I was a clue, where would I be? I don't want to get in the way of people, but I have to try to find it. Ah! <laughs> I don't know, let's just keep going. Let's see what we can do. In America, that looks scary. Water sports, yeah. I wonder how much weight the bridge can support. Let's hope it's a lot because there's a lot of people here today because it's so nice. Oh my goodness, the bridge keeps rocking. I hope we can find this clue really soon, you guys. I have walked a suspension bridge, but not one this long. Oh, whoa, oh, this is still bouncing. <laughs> it's definitely kind of scary. So, oh, I apologize for the noise, you guys. It is a little bit busy today. Ah, oh, looks like we've got a tour coming through. <laughs> oh, okay, I think we're gonna take a quick pause here just so we can let some people come by. Um, but while we are waiting, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's rocking so much. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it. I, go, I, go, I wish I had something else to say, but it's just, the bridge is rocking so much. I can't handle it. Oh no, this feels like. This feels like an episode of Fear Factor. Have you guys ever watched that show? Oh, very good. Wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to be back on stable ground. <laughs> Maybe we can, oh my goodness. Here we go. This is exactly what I was looking for. So we finally found our clue. <laughs> Here's our clue. It says, the Pope likes it. The Pope? Pope like, Pope? Uh-oh. Okay, the Pope likes it. Well, we found it. Now we can go. 
<laughs> All right, I'm getting out of here, you guys. Come on. <laughs> this is too scary. I can't. We're almost to the end. Oh, Lord. This is fun, for sure. Fun, terrifying, whatever you want to say. <laughs> Everybody's saying, hold on. Ah! I can't. I can't do this. This is so insane. You know, truth be told, we, we did have to walk across it once already because, um, you know, we had to get to the other side, but it was definitely not this. Uh, I'm losing my words, you guys. I'm so sorry. It was definitely not rocking this much because we just had a ton of people on the bridge. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't want to do this anymore. Ah. Well, for those of you that like heights, this is for you. For those of you that don't, maybe come visit this lake, but don't go onto the bridge. <laughs> Swaying so much. Oh. <sighs> I'm out of breath from fear, but also from running and for holding on for dear life. Any adrenaline junkies in the chat? Is this for you? <laughs> this is insane. Yes, it is definitely insane. Okay. So there's a bit of an announcement going on right now, so I don't know if you guys can hear me. But we are coming up on a cafe here. And one thing that I do know about this particular area is that the Pope and a couple other um, celebrity figures have come to visit before, so we're going to check it out. Oh, we made it. We survived. Solid ground. Thank goodness. Okay. Today's theme is Adventures with Shannon. Yeah, that's what we should rename this entire live, I think. It's just Shannon on Crazy Adventures. So, really quickly before we uh, order, I'm going to take a seat. But it says that the Pope likes it. And like I was saying before, I do know that one thing about Paju is that the Pope and a couple other celebrities have come to visit before. So, if he likes it, I would imagine it has something to do with the famous dessert here that they actually call Pope Bread in English. We'll go over the names in uh, Korean in just a little bit, um, so you guys will get a better idea of that. And I think the announcement is finally over, so hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better now. Um, but we're going to go take a look and check out what is on the menu. I don't know. I've never tried Pope Bread before. Um, so speaking of adrenaline, <laughs> like we just did, this giant adventure, um, one thing that you can do in Paju or Gyeonggi-do outside of Seoul, you guys can go paragliding, you can go bungee jumping, all kinds of stuff like that. And this is definitely the place where you want to do those kinds of things. But without further ado, let's check out the menu and see what we have. So you can see here, it gives you a little bit of information about when the Pope arrived and there's a photo as well of the Pope and his gang hanging out. And uh, the name for the bread actually is Man Manulpang, Manulpang. <laughs> but the kind of street name, I guess, would be Pope Bread or Gyeongbang. So we are going to try some out today. I've actually never tried any before, but it smells amazing. I think it's like a garlicky sweet bread, so let's give it a try. So I, I, I wish you guys could smell it. This smells absolutely amazing. And one thing that's kind of unique about Korea, the flavors are almost always a little bit sweet. So although it's garlic bread, it's actually going to be sweet, not salty. So some of you Europeans or Americans watching might not be used to that phenomenon, but um, it's delicious. So let's give it a try. <gasps> oh, Kokuni! It looks like we got our other clue. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that is so big. Look, it's the size of my face. It's so big and it's super warm and I am so excited to give it a try. Uh, so let's go have a seat, try it out, and we'll take a look at this other clue. So I imagine that in the summertime they probably have like umbrellas and stuff to hide you from the sun via this little guy right here. So let's give it a try. If the Pope likes it, I think I'll like it too. Do you guys have any favorite desserts or anything like that? And if so, what are they? Where are they from? I would love to know. I like Korean garlic bread. The taste is unique and it makes me want to keep eating it. That's a good point. <laughs> I love garlic bread. You know, honestly, I love garlic bread too, but I gotta say, when I first tried the Korean one that's really, really sweet, I was so thrown off because I'm so used to like the saltiness of like American style garlic bread. 
So, all right, croissants. I literally had a croissant like the other day. It was so good. So here we go. The kiss bread, the Pope bread. All right, let's give it a try. My tape is stuck here. All right, roll up my sleeves. Should I pray? <laughs> it's Pope bread. I feel like I should say a prayer or something before. Um, I don't know, not this time. Wow, look at that. Look at that. It's flaking apart so beautifully. <gasps> what? Oh my God, that was amazing. Okay, so let's just tear a bite off. You can literally see like the garlic in there. All right, here we go. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, that flavor is so intense. It's so good. Definitely that sweet garlic, but you can also taste like the buttery dough that was used to make the croissants as well. So good. Mm -hmm. It is like a huge donut. It looks fluffy. I have a question. I won last week, but I don't know how to claim my prize. Oh no. Okay, so one thing that you can do to claim your prize, there should be a link in the description. You can click on that and um, upload your photo from last week's live. Um, at the end of every live show, like always, guys, I will choose a winner to win an Amazon $50 gift card, and uh, you guys can use that. So just click the link in the description, or you can email the team and talk to them about it, and they will help get that sorted out for you. But the way that you can win today, um, you just leave comments, be super active in the chat, help me find Kogdumi, that's always super helpful. Um, and then I'll just select at the end based on, like, you know, who was ever helping me out a little bit. Looks so fluffy. Never tasted sweet garlic bread. Look under schedule in the community. Bon appetit. Oh, thank you. So I tried some of that gooey inside, but I kind of want to try this like flaky outside part. Oh, you probably can't hear it, but it definitely sounds like ASMR. Do you guys like ASMR? <laughs> I actually used it recently um, to go to sleep. Do you see that? Like all those layers. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, it's really so good. I feel like this would pair really well with like a cup of coffee because it's not too sweet and it's not super salty. Like I said, Korean desserts tend to be kind of sweet. Um, so yeah, you guys could definitely give that a try. Mm. Why not buy a drink? I will get one. I've actually had two coffees today already. So I feel like if I get another one, it might be like coffee overload. Thanks for the help. You're very, very welcome. Bon appetit. All right. Well, I got to try the bread. I can understand why the Pope likes it. It tastes heavenly. Get it? <laughs> Anyways, let's check out this next clue. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully not get garlic bread on our clue. Come to the spot where you can see the view in the picture. Okay, so let's see. It looks like we're definitely overlooking a lake, but I don't see the suspension bridge on here anywhere. So I suppose it's probably the other side of the lake. And it looks like we can see some stairs as well. And it looks like it's from a higher vantage point. I don't see any stairs around here, but we're gonna go on another adventure. I think Kogluni really wants me to get my summer body ready because this whole day is just hiking, swinging on bridges, running and climbing upstairs. So. I guess we should go take a look. Um, if you guys are ready, we're gonna go ahead and figure out what comes next. Let's take our delicious bread with me. We can't forget that. Wow, honestly, I don't think I've ever had a dessert quite like that before. It's definitely sharing size, that's for sure. Um, it's pretty big. So let's go find what's in the picture and maybe find Kognini and let him try some bread too. Do, do, do. Oh. Yeah, it looks a lot smaller on the picture actually, but it's really huge in person. Okay, top position. Ah, it's by the lake. Have any of you guys been here before? It sounds like you have. Oh, perfect. Here's a map. This will help us out a lot. So, Majang Hosu, this is the name of the lake that we are at today. Gongwan uh, Anne, so this is going to be our map. And where are we? Okay, so we're here. It looks like we need to find some place with stairs that you can't see this bridge. So I don't think it's this way. It's probably somewhere down here. So I guess let's go on an adventure. Let's go check it out, you guys. Um, the other side of the lake 
It's big, it's huge. Yeah, this lake is actually super, super big. It's not like, um, there's one lake near Jamshil, if you guys have ever visited that area. Uh, the lake there is pretty small, I would say, but this is definitely a really big one. I'll have to do some research later, or maybe you guys can look it up for me, but I'm wondering if this is a natural lake or if this was kind of man-made with a dam. Um, but there's a lot of lakes where I'm from, so I'm definitely used to being by the water. Uh, but for those of you that want so, like a certain special experience, this is definitely for you. This will help you out. Jamshil area, you are more looking good in the forest. Oh, wow, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I also really like it. Guys, I wish you could feel how amazing this weather is today. Like, it's one of the first few days in Korea so far where you've got like a nice spring air and everything is a little bit warmer, but it's not too hot yet. And uh, for those of you that haven't been to Korea, the weather here is crazy. Wintertime, very cold. And in the summertime, extremely hot. But you'll get these two magical weeks in between both of those of spring and fall. So soak it up while you can because and then a couple lives I'm sure will be sweating and will be sunburnt. So we'll see. <laughs> What's the weather like where you guys are from? Also, if you guys are from different countries, drop a bunch of different flags. Tell me where you're from. I would love to get to know more about like our watchers and kind of see like what our, our expansion is like, like where know where you guys are from. That would be awesome. Oh, good point, uh, Youngs. We don't need to wear masks inside at all. That's right, for you guys traveling, we don't need to wear masks anymore in Korea, which is lovely. So they lifted the indoor mask ban quite some time ago, but as of today, actually, we no longer need to wear them on public transportation as well. So you guys can travel freely. And of course, if you are more comfortable wearing it, totally understandable, not a problem. You totally still can, but it's just not mandated anymore. So you guys don't need to worry about that. And like I was saying earlier, I did see some of these boats. They are rainbow colored and they're super cute. You guys can come check that out. I don't know if it's open quite yet for like rental or for using it, but it is lovely. So we can definitely try that out. Um, and if you guys are in the mood for more than just the Pope bread, we've also got another lovely cafe over here. So a couple stories high. You can probably hear the music, but if you guys want to take a break after all the hiking and running around, uh, you can definitely come here. Let's see. You said I look good in the forest, so let's go take a trip through the forest. Ah, Australia, very cool. Guatemala, hola, como estas? Let's see, going to the second place. Yes, I am. Algeria? No way, that's so cool. I actually don't know much about Algeria, unfortunately, but I would love to learn. So if you have any fun facts, totally drop it in the comment and let me see what you're on about. Ah, let's just take a deep breath. Lovely today. I'm super happy about this weather. It's still raining from time to time, but you can feel the spring breeze. Oh, lovely. Wow, so many cafes. Yeah, there's a couple nice cafes here, but I feel like that's typical Korean fashion. You can almost always find coffee. Um, so if you ever get stranded anywhere, you can at least count on that. <laughs> Let's see. Kok Nuni with the stairs today. I don't know. Maybe he's becoming a little fitness freak. I wish I was there, cafes in the forest. Your Spanish is so good. Oh, muchas gracias, mi amigo. Or mi amiga. Alegra, I think probably female. Muchas gracias, amiga. So we're gonna look for the spot. Let's see what it says. Come to the spot where you can see the view. Hmm. Oh, I see the dock. I see the blue dock on this side here, this little corner you can see, so. Maybe it's here? I don't know, let's go check. I feel like we're close. I feel like as we continue to do these lives and play hide and seek with Kokdini, he feels the need to get more creative and he has to try to hide our clues a little bit better. So let's take a look around. Up and down the road, I like it. This is very challenging. Yes, definitely challenging. Uh, from Vietnam, oh wow, very cool. Um, I'm actually trying to plan a trip somewhere to Vietnam, Thailand, maybe some other Southeast Asian country. So I'd love to learn more about that as well. Let's see, where are we are. Da -da -da. No? <laughs> it definitely looks similar, but you can see here that there's some of those stairs. 
and I don't see any stairs here, but we get a lovely little photo op, so. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> Mahjong Lake, Mahjong Lake. And it is absolutely beautiful. This is really, really cool. So if you guys want to take your photo ops, this is definitely a good spot to do that. But it's not what we're looking for. We have to find Kokmuni, sneaky little bird friend. So let's keep going, see if we can find him. Dun, 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 dun. Great spot for a picture, definitely. Um, it looked like you could have drove there through the car park. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Perfect place to take pictures, definitely. And cafe number three right here. Like I said, Korean people love their coffee, man. Uh, me too. So <laughs> like I said, I'm already on my third cup for the day. So I definitely can't complain. Wait a second. I think so. These stairs go down, but these stairs go up. Let's just keep trying. You know what, guys? I'm going to need your help a little bit more. I feel like I'm flying blind here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, they're playing Harry Styles rock songs. Let's go. You know what I need right now? I need one of those Apple watches that tells you like a step counter, how many stairs you've climbed. I would love to know what Kognini has put me through, through today. Maybe another clue up here? Yes. Oh, ah, almost. I think we're getting close, guys. Hold on. Oh, how cute is this? Wow. This view is amazing. And I was totally wrong. You guys can take the boats out now. There's a couple boats out there on the lake. Wear a fitness band next time. I have to go get one. It does feel really windy. All right, so let's see if we can get an accurate picture like this. So come where you can see the view. Let's see, dun, 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 dun. is this the view? Am I the view? No. <laughs> the lake is definitely the view, but I think we found it. Now we just need to find this clue. This looks like a little birdhouse. Ooh, birdhouse, maybe that's it. No, they have the same name, but they are different regions. Let's see. Um, oh, you can definitely see it. the wind is starting to pick up. Oh, well, this is cute. <laughs> We found it! Yes! Find Moongori next to the water mill. Moongori. All right, quick Korean quiz for my friends out there that are trying to learn Korean. Do you know what Moongori is? Can you tell me what it means? Next clue, yep, yay. Moongori, what is Moongori? <laughs> Maybe you can tell me? I do know from my personal experience that Moon like, like moon in the sky, pronounced the same way, means door. But do you guys know Moongori? Moongori, yep, good spelling, nice job. It means doorknob in Korean. So now we have to try to find a doorknob, but not before we take a thousand more steps down. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Door to something. Actually, I don't know what the door will be to. We are out on a lake, so maybe it's cafe door or something, but these here don't really have a doorknob, so I'm not sure that that's right. Ugh. Whenever we do these lives, if you guys are interested in learning more about the Korean language or if there's certain words or something that you would like me to touch on, feel free to let me know. I'd love to help you guys learn. I myself am still learning Korean as well, so anything that you guys are interested in would be helpful. My goodness, how many stairs are we doing today? Oh, I'm not sure. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, thankfully though, there is another map down here, so maybe that'll help. We can find like a little shelter or something. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Do you guys like my hoodie? My, my Rick and Morty hoodie? <laughs> All right, let's check out this map and see what we got going on. So, like I said, we are here. So our first point that we just came from was actually here at this bridge in this little high point where we got the poke bread. And now we are down here and it says that we need to find a doorknob. So I'm not sure. Hyeonmi-ji, 
I guess so we're here. So I guess we'll just keep walking this way till we find something interesting. Ah, and this is actually really cool too. This is a, a more large scale map of kind of the area that we're in right now. So you guys can check that out as well. Ah, look at this. There's a pretty fountain here too. Perfect for those awesome photo spots. And it's actually getting quite warm here right now. So uh, I was gonna go on the bridge, but I don't wanna disturb any of these lovely people and their photo opportunities. So we're gonna walk alongside the bridge today, but it is lovely. Honestly, I'm really happy that we're doing this live section today kind of outside of Seoul, um, just because I think it's kind of nice to get a break from that hustle and bustle. And uh, something that I'm very sensitive to, at least, is like energies. And the energy in Seoul is very fast paced and it can sometimes be a little bit stressful. So it's nice to be able to easily go outside of that, that really fast paced, like pali pali culture, as we would say in Korean. Pali means like fast or like hurry up. So you can kind of tell that that's, that's the energy that you'll feel there often. But when you come out here, it definitely feels a little bit slower. The water moves more slowly, people move more slowly, and it's definitely just kind of a vacation spot. So it looks like we have a little house up here. This is similar to the style that we did a couple videos ago where we had hanok or like the traditional Korean housing. So perhaps we can find some doorknobs there. And I, if I'm not mistaken, it did say something about a water mill, right? Yeah, next to the water mill. Oh, Kogneni, I'm on to you, bud. So we have a water mill here. It is not currently on or running, maybe because it is winter time but uh, I'm sure in the summertime it's flowing nicely. So let's see if we can find that doorknob. Ah. So I'm not really sure what type of building this would typically be, but I do see some little doorknobs or door handles on there. So we're gonna go check it out. Dun, 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 dun. What is that thing that people do where it's like, <laughs> Something like that. So there's not an entrance, but I do see a doorknob. Can I touch this? Am I going to get in trouble? I don't know. Ah, okay. Let's see. It, oh, <gasps> nice. Kokunni, you're so good with the clues today. I am at the place in the picture. So it looks like we have another photo reference that we can follow. And I suppose we'll just have to keep walking to figure that out. Um, I'm not sure how much you guys can see inside this little building. It's quite dark, but it looks like they have an entire wall written in Korean. So my guess is that it's some sort of place of worship or something a little bit more quiet. So <laughs> I think we should probably leave that one alone. Um, wow, it's really popular here today. There's so many people coming by. So we're going to keep walking. And like I said, we are going to try to look for the place in the photo. I'm at the place in the picture. Majang Hosu. Majang Hosu. So um, I think as we take a, a nice little stroll around, you guys can kind of help me figure things out. But uh, now that we're down on a more chill level, like on, uh, earlier we were on that crazy swinging bridge, this is definitely more the typical experience that you'll probably get at a place like this. Walking around, enjoying the park, um, it's quite lovely, so I'm actually having a really good time. So we're going to let a, another group of people pass. Like I said, it's super, super busy today, and I don't want to interrupt anybody. So we're just going to let some people go by. But um, yeah, definitely check out the water sports or anything like that if you guys are super into it. I would personally love to do one of the boats. So if you guys have any other suggestions for crazy ideas that I should do while we do these lives, like this swinging bridge or bungee jumping or whatever just let us know um, i don't have a whole lot of fear when it comes to the, like those more adrenaline pumping activities so i personally don't mind but uh yeah just let me know so it looks like we've got another little photo op up here it looks rather similar don't you think from the back i think so i don't see coke Mooney anywhere though hmm a little bit busy today, you guys. Sorry about all the interruptions. Uh, I don't want to distract anyone from enjoying their time. <gasps> there he is! Look! I see him! He's up there! 
<laughs> Can you see him? Cute. He's next to the little, uh, the little boy. <laughs> the little boy statue. <laughs> so, uh, after these people go, I think I'm going to try to run up there. I don't know if I'm allowed to, but he's up there and I have to go rescue him. So, we're going to keep going. But with, I guess we should probably do our turn for a photo op as well, right? Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this little rock. Take a picture of me with my, my garlic bread. Cute. <laughs> All right. Nobody's watching. Let's go get Kogdani. We got him! We saved you. Oh man, you really wanted an adventure today, I guess, because you put me on a swinging bridge, you made me climb at least 10,000 stairs, and you perched yourself on top of a rock. <sighs> wow, what a day it was been today. So thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this live. It was super fun for me. Um, and now that we are coming to the end of our vlog, it is time to select a winner for our $50 Amazon gift card. And the winner today will be, drum roll please, <laughs> Youngs. So <laughs> I'm gonna, as soon as I write your name on this board, very important that you take a screenshot of your name Follow the link in the description and we will send that Amazon gift card to your email. So make sure that you are following all the directions correctly. So you guys will kind of get an uh, idea of how bad my Korean handwriting is. But take a screenshot. <laughs> Very good, you guys. So congratulations, thank you for tuning in and for helping me find Kok Nuni. I really, really appreciate it, um, as always. If there's a certain vlog or if there uh, is a certain live that you've really enjoyed so far, uh, don't be afraid to let us know what it was that you enjoyed about it and if there's anything else that you guys want to see. Um, for the international viewers uh, from uh, uh, Guatemala, from Australia, from everywhere. Thank you so much for tuning in today. That's kind of what this channel is all about. We really want to connect people from all over the world and give them a better experience uh, of things that you can do here in life in Seoul, life in Korea. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today, for watching me risk my life swinging on a bridge for you because we love Coke Mini. He's so sweet. <laughs> so let me check the chat. Let's see what you guys got going on today. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, just a second, my phone locked. I thought technology was supposed to make life easier, but you know, sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't. <laughs> Forgive me, it logged me out for just a second. Should we try to draw something while I have this? Let's see. Ah, okay. So, whew, wow, my hair looks crazy. I'm just not seeing that. <laughs> All right, just a second. Let me get back into this live, you guys, and I will contact you guys. Let's see. Oh, man, my, my phone is almost dead. So sorry, everyone. But it's okay. Um, like I said, if you guys want to have any recommendations or things that you would like to see in the live shows, please let us know. We would love to hear more about it. If you've been anywhere in Seoul that is specifically interesting or cool, don't be afraid to drop it below. We will check it out, and you can probably bet that you'll see it in an upcoming live show so don't hesitate to do that and uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in and we will see you next time.